Hello, good morning, and welcome to Parkway High School, where on WOSN we've got the Parkway Volleyball Invitational. Here in the semifinal, number one, we've got the Parkway Panthers who come into this match at 3-0 on the season. And the Ottoville Big Green, 3-1. Parkway, a winner over Paulding this morning. And Ottoville got a three-set win over Salina. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Mark Schein. We'll have all the action for you this morning. And Mark, uh, got a nice assembly of volleyball squads here this morning. Uh, it will be a good tournament. This is always one of the good tournaments that they have on the second week of the season. Uh, glad to be here. We didn't have a chance to watch Ottoville. They were in the other gym, and we didn't have a chance to watch them. But their final set with Salina went 28-26. That three-set match put them in the semifinal match today. And South Adams got a victory in to move them into semifinal number two. We await to see if they'll play Shawnee or Pandora Gilbo as the first swing of the after the morning. My Ottaville goes a little wide and long. So the first point of the match goes to the Parkway Panthers. Molly Sapp missed the back line. The set from Turbin swung on by Ottaville. That's long. And so the first two points for Parkway. You know, sometimes when you have those three set matches, then you have to set a whole match while the, the other semi, other quarterfinals being played. It's a little tough to get going again. And let's see how there's a kill that will be chalked up to Miley Sapp. Sometimes it takes a little while to get going. First serve of the morning by the Big Green. Tipped over by Parkway's Britton Bruns. And it'll drop to the floor. Make it a 3-1 advantage for Parkway on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Just found an open spot on the floor. Bruns will send it away once more. She's a 5-7 sophomore. Cross-court pass from one turban to the other, but it's blocked at the net by the Panthers. Really good timing by Callie. Cammy Langenkamp. Just climbed the ladder right in the middle of that net. Got the block, and it's a 4-1 advantage for the Panthers. Service again by Britton Bruns. Dug out by the Big Green. Terminal rolling over. And another swing and kill. Langenkamp, another point for Parkway. Set her very well that time. Good pass. Right to the setter and obviously put that one away. Panthers jump out to the early 5-1 lead. As Bruns continues to serve from the middle of the back line. Another swing from Turbin. That one hits the floor as Erica Turbin set up Carly Turbin. For the point, Carly Turbin with 40 kills now on the season. And first to today. Chloe Wanamaker, the junior, will serve for the Big Green. Going to climb back just a little bit, trailing by three. So the Panthers can't get it over. Didn't get that initial first pass. Wanamaker will send it away once more. So the Big Green have shrunk the lead to two. Shane Levin, the back set, and it hits the floor after the swing from Paige Stevenson. Panthers grow that lead back out to three at 6-3. As Cammie Langenkamp serves for Parkway. A big cut at it from Ottaville. Parkway able to keep it alive. Into the back row, dug out by the Big Green. Dumped over. Kate Selhorst got it over for Ottaville. A long cut from Parkway. And the point to the Big Green, shrink that lead back to two. Good rally to push the ball across the court. We'll get a little... Sub action here as Kendall Stipke will enter to play the front row. Long serve, just over the top of the net, but couldn't tuck it inside the line. And now Paige Stevenson will serve for Parkway. Got it into the back corner. At the net, tipped over. My friend Shane Levin. Parkway can't get it back over. And four. The point to Ottoville. So after 
growing the lead to four. Big Green have shrunk it back out to two and two and two. Jocelyn Langhouse, the serve for Ottoville, tipped over by the Big Green's Erica Turbin. Left-handed swing from Bryn Shane Levin, dug out by Ottoville. Tipped over, blocked at the net, down, point to Panthers. Kendall Schnipke left that one a little bit short. Mentioned earlier, Parkway 3-0, got a win over Paulding to get to the semifinal. That one goes into the net. Ottoville, a win over Salina. Big Green 3-1 on the season. Played in a tournament last week and dropped their opening match before picking up a couple of victories. Swing from Britton Bruns. Down for a kill for the Panthers. Her first kill today, and just what she wanted. They got the pass to the setter. Popped it up close enough to net. She was able to put it down. Parkway Libero Emory, Emory Temple serving. Back set from Turbin. And a kill goes to Kendall Schnipke, the freshman. Kendall gets the kill and then gets to the serve. She'll drop back, send it away from that far corner. Puts it in a tough spot. Panthers try to set up Langenkamp. It's blocked at the net. One Turbin tries to set up another. That one just a pair mistimed and the points to the Panthers. You can see they really want to work Carly Turbin when she's in the front row. And yeah. After Schnipke serves, she gets replaced by Kendall Schnipke in the back row. Brings Shane Levin to center for Parkway. Sends it away. Tough first pass from Ottaville. Can't get it. The cross-court pass to Schnipp or to uh, Turbin, I beg your pardon. Yeah, steps were a little off that time. The ball was set a little low. Shane Levin sends it away again. Hits the net and drops to the floor for the ace. First ace of the day. Biggest lead of the match so far for Parkway at 5-12-7. The score on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Shane Levin sends it away once more. Turbin dumps it over. Put it in a good spot. Parkway defense there. Bruns gets it over, and we'll try to put it in the back corner and does. Really heads up play by Bruns. The defense had, had sucked up towards the net, and she pushed it deep enough that nobody could make a solid play on it. Get a timeout called by the Big Green. We'll step aside as well. Parkway with an early 13-7 lead here on WOSN. Spikes today brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Serve sent away by Parkway. Cross-court pass, Turbin left it just a hair long. Got a touch. Oh, we did get a tip. Yeah. Carly Turbin on that outside, and they can get her a pass. She's got some heat on that. Put enough heat on it, got, got a fingertip on it, and the point goes to the big green. Shane Levin, a back set to Bruns behind the 10-foot line. Dug out by the Big Green. Try to put it in the back corner and do a heads-up play by Ottaville. I think that was Vanessa Hilbert, I think. Kind of run together there and just saw an open spot. Put it. Ooh. That's a shade long. Officials today on the tower today. Our one is Dan Cook, Steve Trout's on the floor. They will do all of the matches in this gym. Britton Bruns, the ace, got the lucky roll off the top of the net. So the wall match mutual telephone scoreboard now reads 15-9 for the Panthers. As Bruns gets the knuckleball. Turbin, the swing from Hilvers. Dug out by the big green, they'll pop it over. Parkway looks to set up Colby Smith, dug out by the Big Green, tipped over, stalemate at the net, just wide on the tip from Smith. 
And out of Hill to point. Colby Smith had a spot on the uh, defensive right side of the floor, just missed it. Kind of thing that happens, I think, Garrett, when you're still in the first week of the season. Yeah. You know, you get after Labor Day, that, that's going to be a point. Well, top spin on the serve for the big green is Shane Levin, the back set. Tipped over by Langenkamp, blocked at the net. Actually, the official oh, nope, said it was four. not touched. It was came back to her, so it became four hits. Just came back into the net and tried to get it over. In four, 15-11 to score. As Bruns from behind a 10-foot line, drops it in. Lee's famous recipe, chicken spike, tucked it just inside that line, and the lead grows back to five. From behind the 10-foot uh, line, put some top spin on it, got it to dive, her second kill. Cammie Langenkamp serving for Parkway. Turbin, the cross-court pass, and a long swing. Kate Selhorst, just a bit long. As we get to the closing stages of set number one, Langenkamp serves just about a foot too far. Emory Temple, the libero, comes back in for Parkway. Here's Cardi Turbin to serve. That means she's not uh, in the front row anymore. Let's see where their points come from. Lolly pops it into the middle of the floor. Shane Levin looking for Stevenson. Dug out by the big green. Miscommunication yeah. by Otterville. That it was. You just get in that tough spot where you get in the rhythm of trying to set up Carly Turbin. Well, it's the same thing, Garrett. That's the type of thing that doesn't happen yep. you know, a week from now. Communication improves. You play more time together. Dumped over by the big green. Libero set that one. Into the back row by Smith. Erica Turbin looks to set up Kendall Schnipke and does. Ottoville does not play with a libero. Interesting to see how the coaches, uh, you know, choose to use that particular yeah. spot. Uh, and really, is there just a, you know, unless you've got a natural put for that position, you you just it, it just kind of depends on how the coach feels about it. Some you know, they they want to do the double rotation where where you go you play in the front row, somebody else plays in the back row, and you keep you rotating out that way. Some people feel uh, better having just a designated player who can always be in the back row. It's, it's just how coaches view their, their team and their talent. Point's going to go that time to uh, Naomi Kanapke. 2013 the score now on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard for Parkway. As Colby Smith serves once more, put a little extra mustard on it, <laughs> and a point to the big green. Find a lot of schools, particularly down this way, the, the MAC, the Shelby County League, and so on, they play a lot of risk reward. You know, they're going to serve the ball long once in a while. They're going to serve the net once in a while, but they also uh, counterbalance it with points or putting the defense on the on the uh, position where they can't return the ball easily. See it here where Emory Temple rolls it just a hair wide, just a hair long, I beg your pardon. My, my guess is that match you saw Thursday night with New Bremen and Crestview, one of the Great early season matches on it's WSN. Fantastic. And New Bremen is uh, famous for that risk reward that they do for Coach Diana Kramer. Swing from Bruns. Out of the line. Tried to go down the left sideline and missed it. Ottoville hanging in there. Just not able quite to climb the mountain. Knuckleball serve from the big green. Cross court pass. Shane Levin rolls it. Can't get it to drop over the net. And Ottoville shrunk the lead to three here in the late stages. Olivia Hilvers, the senior, sends it away for the big green. Tucks it in the back corner. Middle set, blocked at the net by the big green. Temple, the pass to Brun, she'll just dump it over. Tries to do it again, finds a spot on the floor for the point. Well, that overpass got across the net where Bruns could use it, push it to an area where it's, uh, none of the Ottoville Big Green could get to it, but the, the overpass set that up. It's a four-point lead for Parkway with four to go. Trying to get to 25 first. Temple to serve. Turbin. Big swing and spike there. 
from Giese. Best hit of the, of the match so far for the big green. Just that was in a rhythm, yes. ready to go. Yep. Exactly textbook how you want it. Ottaville sends it away. Bruns from the far side. Dug out by Ottaville. Turbin a big swing and another kill for the big green. Back into the front row as the rotation took her to the left front. 21-19. Ottaville's closed the gap. Sent away by Kendall Schnipke. Back set. Looking for Shane Levin and she'll find the floor. Got left-hander on this power corner side. Makes it an easier play for a left-handed player on this side. 22-19. Here in the closing stages of set number one of semifinal number one. Shane Levin puts it in the middle of the back row. Carly Turbin blocked at the net. As Paige Stevenson got a couple of mitts on it. So Parkway's growing the lead back out to four. Shane Levin, the left-handed serve again. Into the back row, just a knuckleball. Turbin, the pass to Easy, left it long, and that'll bring up set point. Couldn't get on top of it that time. 24-19. Parkway looking to close out set number one. In the back corner. Big Green after just chip it over. Do. Shane Levin. The pass looking for Stevenson. Leaping and diving, and that'll do it. Stevenson the kill. Parkway takes set number one at 25-19. We'll come back with second set action here on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Parkway Panthers take set number one here over Ottaville, 25-19. I'm Garrett Seawright alongside Mark Shine. And Ottaville climbed back a couple of different times in that set, and then Parkway just pulled away in the closing stages. Parkway had nine kills, three from Brit Britain Bronze. They uh, had two aces. Ottaville did not have an ace. They had seven kills, three from Carly Turbin. And it just it felt as if Ottaville, when they had Carly Turbin in that front row, it's just a it's just a different that's correct, just a different volleyball squad. Of course, the uh, the late great Al McGuire said you got to have an aircraft carrier in, in high school <laughs> basketball, college basketball, whatever, and the, that really helps to have somebody in the front row like that that you can count on. And uh, she is that person. So when she rotates to the back row, then they have to find other ways to to score points. Looks like we've got both. Lineup set. Of course, nobody in our listing audience knows who Al McGuire is anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> huh? Old Marquette coach. Yes, sir. One of the uh, free spirits of college basketball coaching. Kendall Schnipke serves to begin set number two. Britton Bruns from the right side. Tucks it inside the line for the first point. She continues to play well in the front row. Now rotates back to serve. She has one of the two aces that Panthers had in the opening set. Erica Turbin, cross-court pass to Carly Turbin. Tipped, popped back in the air. Dumped over by Paige Stevenson. Big green, keep it alive. Carly Turbin to swing wide. Well, she went cross-court the first time. This time she tried to go down the line and she missed it. I appreciate the fact she's mixing it up a little bit, keep the defense on their toes, but I was unable to score. Runs topspin on the serve. Turbin with the set. The Giese rolled over into the back row. Stevenson will cut it down the line, but left it wide. It's a tough shot from that angle to get it to drop inside the 10-foot line. Typically to go back towards the corner a little bit more, but she wasn't able to connect with where she tried to put it. Turbin put it in a tough spot. Emery Temple had to dive for it. Parkway able to get it over. It's a middle set to Turbin. Tipped up, and then finally it'll drop to the floor for the kill for Carly Turbin. It's a legal play. You're allowed to contact it twice on the opening ball coming across the net. So got the block and then made the play. 
Now Erica Turbin serving for Ottaville. Runs well behind the 10-foot line. It's a back set to Langhouse. Kept alive by the Panthers. Stevenson to cut. Couldn't get a hand on it. It'll drop to the floor. Her third kill today. Paige Stevenson, very versatile player. Had 17 kills before today's actions. A couple aces, 28 assists, 16 digs. It's one of those players you count on to do a lot of things for you. Cameron Langenkamp sends it away for the Panthers. Langhouse rolls it over. Touched and down. So all squared three. Here in the early going is set number two. Chloe Wanamaker serving now for Ottaville. Panthers try to set the right side. Stevenson finds a spot on the floor. After having two kills in the opening set, she's got two kills here in the first four points of set two. Couple now goes back to serve. Lee's famous recipe chicken spikes for Stevenson. Turbin to Carly Turbin into that back corner, dug out by Bruns. Colby Smith dumps it over. Back set. Langhouse, the old campfire shot, dug out by Parkway. They'll roll it over into the back corner. Turbin to pass to Langhouse. Long. Good rally from both sides. Now Stevenson will send it away. So set her trying to bring it back. She couldn't go up and play it over the net because Erica Turbin's a back row player right there. So she tried uh -huh. to bring it back where a teammate could use it and probably prolong contact. There's an ace. The Panthers now have grown the lead to four, four straight points. And a timeout called by Ottaville. We'll step aside as well. Parkway 7, Ottaville 3 in set number 2 here on WOSN. Spike today brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Surf just gets over the net from Paige Stevenson. Carly Turbin, a long swing into the back corner. Smith from the outside. Left it just a hair long and wide. And Ottaville, out of the timeout, gets the point they need. This is going to be a long day, Garrett, because you, know, you have breakfast, then you're going to be in the gym here until 2 or 3 o'clock, and you keep reading that chicken ad. Oh, no. This, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> Sitting here thinking about chicken yeah. strips and mac and cheese. Yes, absolutely. Dumped over from the point to Naomi Kanapke. Biscuits That's and sweet tea. See, I can't go sweet tea. I'm not a sweet tea guy. Lemonade will be all right. I know you're anti-lemons. I heard on oh, the radio. Oh yeah, I am. Yeah, that's absolutely true. <laughs> Swing from Kendall Schnipke, dug out by the Panthers. Britton Bruns will take a cut at it. Please don't ruin a good sweet tea or a good glass of ice water by putting lemon in. Rolled over by the Panthers, Shane Levin. Swing, kept alive by Parkway. They're not able to get it over, however. And a kill to Johnson Langhouse. Of course, I've got my coffee here with me today, and uh, Megan's looking at me because you never ruin coffee by putting anything in it. And Megan's looking at me like, come on. Not even a cream or a sugar? Oh, or no, no, no. You just, you're coffee, coffee, man. Shane Levitt tipped over into the middle of the floor. Big Green keep it alive, rolled over. In a tough spot. Turbin from behind a 10-foot line. Britton Bruns a kill. Yep. <laughs> Took some abuse at cold water last night. It was a little warm in the press box. I had my coffee. Like, what are you was doing with coffee? Was it a little warm in the press box? It was a little. We were on the second deck uh, where the were... air conditioning was on the first deck. <laughs> Not that there was much good air conditioning going to do either. You get an east-west field at cold water so you didn't have the sun blaring. That's true. That's Salina last night at north-south field. It's probably 115 degrees yeah. in the press box for a while. And a 
finally drops to the floor after the Panthers ping-ponging around off the big green. My remembrance of that press box is it's not very big either. It's not too bad. It's just when you're directly in the sun yeah. on a 91-degree day with the humidity as high as about you can get it. And the ball drops to the yeah. floor as the ace for Emory Temple, the sophomore. Her first ace of the day, fourth of the match. Parkway's trying to flex her muscles a little bit here in set number two. Six-point lead on the Wabash Mutual telephone scoreboard. Make it a seven-point lead. Yeah. A rocket that right over top of the net, unable to play in the back row. Back to back aces, Emory Temple. And even with the temperature dropping about 15 degrees, still a big fan here in the Parkway Gymnasium as that one sent a little long. There's air conditioning here in the school, but still, any, any help you can get. Yes. The last couple of days, I don't know the last time I wore pants in week one and <laughs> had to go shorts in week two just because it was 100,000 well, degrees. That yesterday. serve was long because the, the fan blew fan it long. put a little too much yeah. on it. Stevenson, the set. Langenkamp. Oh, good play. And dumped over. Yeah. Great position there by Langhouse. Lots of Langhouse did a really nice job of running that one down and then pushing it to the back row point. Ottaville can't continue building the momentum, however, with the service error, and the lead remains six for the Panthers. Sent away once more by Shane Levin, and another ace for Parkway. Been kind of the story here of set number yeah. two. Ottaville struggled to get that first pass to set up somebody on the outside. Four aces out of 14 points in this set. Make and another one, yep, another one. Brent's one of those, so we're going to call them Swiss Army Knives, too. Ten kills on the season, an ace, 43 assists, 22 digs. Coming into the uh, tournament today here at Parkway, their first uh, regular season matches. Erica Turbin with a set to Schnipke, saved by the Panthers. Good set. Bruns a swing. And Ottaville can't just quite get it over. So another point for Bruns here at Parkway. The Panthers won state championships in 1996-1997. Her mom, a pivotal player on those state championship teams. Swing for Giese. Oh, somebody in the net. Number four was in the net. That'd be Paige Stevenson. Point goes to Ottaville. 16-8, Panthers with a game in hand already. 125-19 in set number one, looking to make the finals of their own tournament. Put it in a tough spot. Temple the dig. Back set looking for Bruns. Blocked at the net, but it comes right back to Parkway, but wide of the line. The Panthers grow the lead to nine. Yeah, weren't able to, to quite get your hands turned towards the floor. Hands were turned toward the sidelines that time and pushed the ball out of bounds. Bruns serving into the back row. Carly Turbin the swing, but it's blocked. Popped back up by Ottaville. Turbin has to dump it over. Yeah. Missed contact, double contact, yep. and trying to push it across. You see the strong backspin on it where she got it yeah. kind of set up and then rolled it back. There was a time period when you could kind of get away with that, and then the officials went, you know what, you're, you're scoring points with something that's illegal. And so they've kind of taken that away and cleaned that part of it up. There's another ace. Britton runs. 19-8. Panthers in control on a timeout taken by the big green. We'll step aside as well. Parkway throws the lead. More seconds in action when we return here on WOSN. Britain Bruns continues to serve for Parkway. Panthers lead by 11 here in set number two, looking to close out the Ottoville Big Green after Parkway took set number one here in this best of three in semifinal number one. Bruns hits the top of the net. Big Green at the leap and dive. Carly Turbin cuts it, saved, but it'll drop to the floor after a Panther got just one paw on it. 
Talk about the, the, the difficulties. Obviously, the serve return's been part of it, but also that's only the second ace of this set for Ottoville. Or not ace, excuse me, kill. Erica Turbin, the serve. Stevenson along. So 19-10 now, back-to-back. -back. Good timeout. Scored a couple of points coming out of the timeout. That's what Coach Sperry wanted. Serve into the back Good row. Good serve. Langenkamp takes a cut at it and will drop to the floor. Otterville got half a block on it. Ball goes off the net. It is so difficult to play in that circumstance. Cammy Langenkamp serving again. Put it in a tough spot. Another ace from yep. Parkway here in set number two. Serve return has been a problem. Langenkamp, that's her first ace of the the day, but it's also the seventh ace of this particular set. And a service error by Parkway. Makes it 21-11. Out of hill drop, Chloe Wanamaker back to serve. Knuckleball into the back row. Shane Levin goes to set up Stevenson, tipped over. Carly Turbin takes some off of it. Had to because the set wasn't where she could use it. Left-handed swing. Kept alive by the Panthers. Stevenson pop back up in the air. Carly Turbin, sidewinder, out. Well, she missed, but also there was a Panther in the net. Yep. Saw the libero that time, em Emory Temple, be the setter. See that more and more in high school volleyball using that libero as a second setter. Stevenson rolls it over, gets the kill. For a long time, Parkway played with two setters on the floor at all times. And, and still do, but that, that libero becomes a, another option when you can't get the ball to your primary setter. Stevenson. Specific rules about that. There's a big cut, but it's just a hair long. Libero designed to be a defensive player uh, by nature, but there's a way that you can use them offensively yeah. by rule. <laughs> you, can, you can help you out any way you can. 23-12 and make it 24-12 now. So Parkway with match point coming up. Paige Stevenson continues to serve. Looking to close out Ottaville. Puts it in a tough spot in the back row. Big Green able to get it over. Stevenson goes to set up Smith. Blocked. It's wide. And that will do it for set number two. So Parkway takes two from Ottaville. They'll move on to the finals of their own tournament after wins over Paulding and Ottaville. And we'll have semifinal number two. Really good service action by Parkway, particularly in that second set well, for the match. Uh, Britland Bruns had two aces. Paige Stevenson had two aces. Emory Temple had two aces. Three for Brooklyn Sham Shamblin. Uh, one for uh, Cammie Langenkamp. They also controlled the net. Britland Bruns had seven kills, five for Paige Stevenson. And they really just kind of dominated the match here at home and get to go to the finals. They're moving on. They win 25-17, 25-12 over Ottoville, and they'll play the winner of South Adams and Shawnee that you'll see when we return on WOSN. Semi-final number two about to get underway between the Shawnee Indians and the South Adams Starfires out of Indiana. South Adams 8-1 on the season. Shawnee 3-1, so looking for a good matchup here in the semifinals. The winner will move on to play Parkway in the championship here at the Parkway Invitational. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined by Mark Shine. We'll have all the action here of semi-final number two where South Adams got here after a victory over Elida in two sets, and Shawnee grabbed a victory over Pandora Gilboa this morning to get here to semifinal number two. 
South Adams, this will be their 10th game already of the year. They start much ahead of the Ohio in volleyball. They were undefeated until Thursday night. They lost to Belmont, who we see every year in the Crestview Tournament, yes. one of the premier programs in uh, Indiana volleyball. And they lost to them, but they came back with a quarterfinal win today and now in the semifinals here against the Shawnee Indians, who are 3-1. And, and also, South Adams will be back here at Parkway on Tuesday yeah. for just a regular season matchup. So we'll see if they end up playing the Panthers in the championship or they'll drop to the third-place match to play Ottoville, who Parkway beat in two sets in semifinal number one. Get everybody on the floor. As Shea Alberson will play libero for the Starfires. Been a pretty good start for the year for Shawnee. They started out with a 3-0 win over Bluffton and then went five sets against Coldwater, losing the final two sets. Coldwater Cavaliers came back. Will it be a point? It is. Leah Rudisil, the serve, or the point, I beg your pardon, for Shawnee. And their libero, Grace Freiberger. Well, sir. Seems like she's played every sport at Shawnee for the last, like, 20 years, doesn't it? <laughs> Been there a while. And got so an ace. Picks up the ace to begin the first service for Shawnee. And they've got a quick 2-0 score on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Going through the Shawnee schedule. Then a Western Buckeye League win over Elida the other night. Another, Another ace. ace. Yep. Grace Freiberger drops a couple in. Put them in tough spots. Might be the shoes. Yeah. Pink kicks on. Both sides in straight black uniforms outside of the liberos. It's so a back set. Tipped over. Big swinging down. It's Kelly Cooper. They're off to a really hot start here, are they? Shawnee up 4 0 early. Things have gone their way to begin set number one. Couple of aces, couple of kills. They got it going. There's a cut from the Starfires. From behind the 10 foot line for Shawnee, Carly Hutchins. And then a swing just a hair too long. Rudis' eyes lit up. That time the ball was over, passed, and she said, I got this one, and she just hit it long. South Adams not off to a very sharp start. Avery Brown serving for the Starfires. Another big swing from Cooper. For the least famous recipe, Chicken Spike. Just pounded out right down the left line. 5-1 advantage for Shawnee. Down that far sideline. Rolled over by Mackenzie Miller. Quick set, Cooper again. Well, the free ball that time, South Adams couldn't get the ball into a kill position. They had to free ball it over, and then the set spike that came up from Cooper, and Kelly Cooper's off to a big start with three kills already. 6-1 on the scoreboard. South Adams tries to get in a the rhythm. There's a swing from Macy Preeze, and she'll tuck it in the line. You know, you play here a, an early match. These two teams played the 10 o'clock match, and then you set around till noon or so. You watch another team play. It takes a little bit to get started right, sometimes. You get just a 10-minute warm-up. Yep. Swing from Preezer to the back row. Cross-court pass. Blocked at the net. Kept alive by the Indians. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, they prolonged, the lift. Yeah, prolonged contact. Sydney Burris got the ball below the, her waist and tried to pop it up in the air. Just too much contact. Preeze will serve once more. We're going to set up Cooper in the middle. Dug out by the Starfires. Somehow able to get it back over. Maxwell is set to Cooper. Dug out again. Just a little long on the swing from Reagan Bolenbacher. They use just a single blocker on Kelly Cooper. If this could go the way it's going, they're going to have to, to find a, a, a way to get two blockers to her. had a nice first set here for the Indians. It's still in the early going. That one's just a hair long again from Mollenbacher. She's missed the back line a couple of times here. She's got to get just a little bit off of it. Troush the set. 
Blocked at the net by Cooper. Kept alive by the Indians. Swing from Carly Hutchins. Saved by the Starfires. Blocked at the net. Kept back alive. Tried to get it over in the back corner to Preece. Cooper takes a hardy cut at it and finds the floor. Saw the set in the, in the middle of that set. You saw the set come from uh, Grace Freiberger as the libero. She has to set underhand if she is in front of the 10-foot line, which she did. It eventually ended up in a Shawnee point. Starfires can't get it over. Another point for the Indians. Grayson Bixler tried to just push it to the left sideline and didn't get enough on it. Good start for Shawnee. Leading by seven. Knuckleball serve. Troush. The set. Bixler can't get it over. And yeah. it's 12-3. Or 11-3, I beg your pardon. And Coach Ashley Buckingham is telling uh, Bixler, hit it. You're just trying to steer the ball to, to an open area. Hit it. There's a swing. Oh, Freiberger, nice play. Great play by Freiberger to keep it alive. Put it in a tough spot. We get a collision in the back corner. Yes, we do. Looks like everybody's all right. It's one of those things that you get in that tough spot and you just going for the ball. Right, you get you get hit and you, yeah. you, I got to get out of the way because somebody's got to come get this thing. And you don't necessarily know where they're coming from. He's adding Maxwell serving. Good float serve. Starfires get it over. Maxwell is set. Cooper, another big kill for the least famous recipe chicken spike. Dominant in the front row. Timeout. It's a 10 point lead for the Indians here in set number one. We'll step aside as well on WOSN. Shawnee with all the momentum here in set number one, leading South Adams 13 to three. Kelly Cooper, what a pretty nice first set yeah. here. Five kills. Obviously, she's played well, but she's gotten some good sets as well. Starfire's trying to get back in it. We get a Indian over that. Yeah, Carly Hutchins was in the net. So out of the timeout, that's what you want to see mm -hmm. for the black and gold. Melina Mayhor will enter to play front row as Reagan uh, Beitler serves. Cooper gets the set and the kill. Another one. Well, she's, she's got kills from the left front, from the center front, and now from the right front. And she will now rotate back to serve. Leading by 10 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Cooper, the senior, sends it away. Just a bit too much mustard on it. She will get a much-deserved rest as she rotates out. See how Shawnee fares with her on the bench for just a little bit. Swing from Shea Alberson. Shawnee finding the floor without Cooper. As Hutchins drops it to the wood. Cooper's got six kills in the opening set, but they have nine of their 15 points have come from kills. He had a couple of aces in there from Freiberger, and they got things going. South Adams, a kill of their own. Here's Shaylin Hinton. Just the second kill that they've had today in the opening set out of their six points. 15-6. The lead for the Indians. Reagan Bollenbacher serving into the back row for the ace. Starfire's trying to scratch and claw their way back here. Tipped over by Mackenzie Brickner for Shawnee. Kept alive by the Indians. Long swing, just oh. wide for Leah Rudisill. Although Rudisill's kill went long because Freiberger libero was behind the 10-foot line, she is allowed to use overhand fingertip action as a libero. Bolenbacher, another serve. Hutchins, the swing, dug out by Star South Adams. That one blocked. But Drops outside the lines. So South Adams putting together a couple of points here. 
Garrett, we've both been around high school sports for a long time. You know any other high school team called the Starfire? I do not. Yeah, neither do I. Kind of an unusual name. There's an ace. A little miscommunication there by Shawnee. Thought it might be long. Instead, put a paw on it. I think that was the right move. It was going to tuck inside that line. But you're right, Mark. Starfires is quite the unique in a land of Bulldogs, Tigers, <laughs> Indians. Starfires certainly stands out. Blocked at the net on the swing. Rudisil. Hutchins another cut. Push it in the corner. Shawnee's in the Western Buckeye League, and it's almost mandatory you have a cat as a part of your name yep. in the Western Buckeye League. Cat or Bulldog. Yeah, cat or Bulldog. Yeah. Rough Riders, Indians, Titans. Outside, outside of that. Outside <laughs> of that. <laughs> Three Bulldogs. A couple of Wildcats. A couple of a, a Cougar. Yeah. Into the middle of the back row. Troush, the set for Prees. Put it in a tough spot, yep. but Freiberger keeps it alive. Hutchins, the swing. Always one of the good liberos pass. that we see every year. Got another one. Look at that. Yep. Leaping and diving. Can't fire Got shot. Got a third she one. Got a third one. Tries to put it in the back corner. Can't. Hutchins from behind the 10-foot line. A great rally from both sides. Prees. Freiberger, the dig. Maxwell goes to set up Rudisil. That'll go off the wall for the point. We get four digs on the same play. Three of them were just fantastic. <laughs> You're leaping and diving yep. and have to get right back up and stay aware. Great play from Grace Freiberger. Makes it 17-10. There's a good libero play on the other side by Albertson. Just a little long yep. on the bump over. He just got to try to get it over. The strength it takes to do that. Hit the ball from that angle, hit it that far. Up over your head, yep. on the run. Starfire's return. Freiberger, the pass to Rudisil. Dug out by South Adams. Tough spot. It was. That pass was in an awkward area, and we're going to get a second time out. We'll step aside as well. 19-10 the score. Shawnee the lead here on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Shawnee looking to close out set number one against the South Adams Starfires out of Indiana, leading 19 to 10 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. It's Hutchins, the serve, and that's an ace. Carly Hutchins, just a sophomore. Her first ace, team's third. Indians now doubling up South Adams at 2010. And just a smidge wide. South Adams going to try to put something together here with Laney Troush, the sophomore setter, dropping back in the middle of the back line to serve. Puts it in the back corner. Maxwell, cross court pass to Rudisil, dug out by the Starfires. Good pass. Miscommunication by South Adams. Swing, dig. From behind the 10-foot line for Troush. Put some mustard on it. Freiberger went and got it. Rudisil the swing. Kept alive by South Adams. Preece gets the kill. Her third kill. South Adams rallying a little bit. Their, their chances of winning set one, maybe not really good, down 12 to, to, to 20 right here. But you want to set some momentum for yourself going into set two. Yes, sir. They're doing that. Hutchins the receive. Campfire shot dumped over and down by Addie Maxwell. Setter who can catch the defense unawares, puts the ball in the open spot in the middle of the floor. Freiberger serving now for Shawnee. Looking to close out set number one. It's a race to 25, and they lead 21-12. Tough pass from South Adams, makes it 22-12. Troush had to do whatever she could just to single-handed it since the ball was overpassed to her and wasn't able to put it in a spot where a teammate could use it. Yeah. 
Prees rolls it over. Maxwell is set to Cooper. Blocked at the net, but wide. Walker got a hand on it, but it rolled across the tape and out of bounds. 23-12. Freiberger now moves to the near corner to serve. Swing in down for Reagan Bollenbacher, the sophomore, gets the kill. It was a little bit more textbook for the Starfires. Yeah. All set up by the good pass, good set. Avery Brown will serve now. Got an extra ball on the court. There we go. Three ball system used here. Lollipop to the back row. Cooper from the outside. Kept alive by South Adams. Block put up. Cooper in the middle. Able to get it over. Trying to dump it into back corner. Freiberger, a great swing. Cooper takes the cut. Prees blocked, kept alive. Shawnee's able to get two blockers on every kill attempt. But that one stay in bounds? That was touched. Oh, they will call it a tip. To 23-14. South Adams clawing back just a little bit. Breeze, the swing. Cooper tries to drop the hammer. It's dug out by the Starfires. Bollenbacher from behind a 10-foot line. Cooper in the middle. Got Took a little blockers off of that time. In a tough spot, cut to the far sideline by Beitler. Rudisil the swing. Another dig for the Starfires. Cross-court pass to Breeze. Another swing there at the net by Grayson Bixler, she gets the league's famous recipe, Chicken Spike. Good rally that time by both teams. Just a little bit better for the South Adams Starfires. But both teams played well that point. 23-15 after the long rally. Brown into the near corner. Cooper, the tip. Dug out by Shawnee. Now set Cooper again in the middle. And she's got another kill. Eight. First time she just kind of rolled it across, kind of gave him the change up. That time she came back with a fastball. Set point for Shawnee at 25-15. So make a change. Sydney Burris comes back on the floor. Rudisil to serve. Into the middle of the back row. Troush. Set Bixler, kept alive by Shawnee. I'll put it in the middle of the front row. Chasing after it are the Starfires. It hits the floor, and Shawnee takes set number one at 25-15. We'll step aside, come back with second set action. Coming up on WOSN. Tonight's Spike sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. South Adams had seven kills in the opening set, three by Macy Prees. They had two aces. Those were also both, both by Reagan Bollenbacher. Shawnee had 14 kills in the opening set, eight by Kelly Cooper. And they had three aces, too, by Grace Freiberger. When you're getting 14 of your 25 on kills, uh, and, and things are going well for you. And then you throw in, uh, you know, the, the three points that they got off of aces, and their power game was definitely there. That's 17 points out of your 25. They played very well in the opening set. Now Freiberger to serve. So she'll get things started here in set number two. As Shawnee took set number one, 25-15, as we mentioned. And uh, nearly an ace. Starfires work to get it over. Cooper with the touch. That was a little close to the net. That was all she could do with it without going into the net. Maxwell that time yep. just tips it over, finds the floor, and a first point of set number two goes to the Indians. Everybody expects you to set Cooper on the left side of your formation, so you take the ball to your right where the defense is not at. Good play by her. It's just simply natural to kind of 
shift that way or at least start meandering that way and you leave a little hole in the floor. It's well, the, the, you're trying to get two blockers to Cooper, and that's kind of opening up that uh, far side of the court from where we sat. Shawnee with a good start here. South Adams has been on her heels most of the match today. Freiberger, the knuckleball into the back corner. Preece, the swing. Tip to the net. Cooper puts some mustard on it. She gets a big Lee's Famous Recipe chicken spike. Well, that's, the pass was really good, and then Maxwell, Maxwell got the good set, and well, those two worked so well together. Both seniors. Set number two starting off similarly for Shawnee as it did set number one. Rudisil the swing. Ooh. Thought that might have been just inside the line. Called out. That was close. Point goes to South Adams. Maxwell the set for Cooper. I thought that one was in, too. Well, I'm in the top row of the bleachers, and I got, I got old eyes, so I, well, I'll that, go with the Lions. I'll, I'll take their <laughs> yeah. word for it, too, is stare at some numbers going. Is that a 4 or 14? I don't know. Cooper takes the cut. Freeze off of Cooper's hands and down. Hit it through the blocker. So after a 3-0 start for Shawnee, we're all knotted up on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Rudisil the kill. She's got three in the match. Been a good compliment to what Kelly just, Cooper does. Just going to say, if you've got a complimentary piece, yep. and Hutchins has been that as well a little bit, that if you have somebody that you know they can't just key on, on Kelly Cooper every time. It, Goes a long way. Troush, the pass to Preece. Dug out by Hutchins. Freiberger behind the 10-foot line. Quick center in the middle. Tipped over. Shawnee keeps it alive. Rolled over. Kept in play. As there's a cutting down for Reagan Beitler. South Adams. Playing better here once the uh, Shawnee Indians missed a couple of long hits that ended up past the end line, got it to 4-4. A little bit of spunk in them right now. Uh, have a little bit more pep in their step, I think. 4-4 the score. Freiberger rolls it over from behind the 10-foot line. Tough pass. Gotten over by the Starfires. Cooper, the quick set in the middle. Blocked, sent right back to him. See, they're getting two blockers to Cooper almost every possession now, and it's blocked out of bounds. South Adams had to talk themselves yeah. out, out of going and getting it. You just get in that rhythm of keeping the ball alive, right. keeping the ball alive, and that one you got to patiently watch fall to the floor. 5-4 the score now. Cooper. Got a great set. Yeah. The ball was out. hit out, but we've got an official saying that uh, number 10 for South Adams in the net. That'd be Reagan Beitler. So we're all square at five. After being in the net. Sent away by the Indians. Troush in a tough spot. Ball hits the floor after Hutchins puts it down. The overpass put it into her wheelhouse. And she just tipped it to an open area. Didn't put a lot of power behind it. Just tipped it to an open area to get the point. Serve sent away. Prees gets a run up to it. Make solid contact with it. And she gets the least famous recipe chicken spike. Good set and very good footwork that time from the right side of the net. The different, different angle that you get from when you play in the typical power corner on the left side. Did that well, and now she gets to serve. All knotted up at six here in set number two. Freiberger to receive. Cooper the swing. So difficult to handle on the least famous recipe chicken spike. Now a double figure in spikes now for her as 
Kelly Cooper goes to serve. Put it in a tough spot to handle. Starfires get it over. Cross-court pass to Hutchins. Dug out by South Adams. Swing long from Reagan Bollenbacher. Grows the advantage for Shawnee. Shawnee was challenged, went down 5-4. First time they've really been challenged, they've responded well. Cooper goes out as Freiberger takes her place. Libero for the big hitter. Reagan Beitler serving for South Adams here. Trailing by one. Knuckleballed into the middle of the back row. Swing at the net. Mackenzie Brickner's cut. Yes. Never got over the net. Then a Shawnee Indian touched it before it hit the floor. So the call is actually four contacts, but the, because the ball couldn't get over the net. All tied at eight. Ooh. A service error. By South Adams. Gives the lead back to Shawnee at 9-8. Indians with a game in their pocket here in this semifinal number two. They won 25-15 over the Starfires, and the winner will move on to play Parkway in a championship. Loser will play Ottoville in the third place match. Freeze rolls it over. Back set. Rudisil kept alive. She'll take another cut at it. And a miscommunication mm -hmm. lands on the floor. Beitler and Troush got into each other. Both kind of had an awkward swing at it because neither one had a great look at it. Service continues for Sidney Burris. And South Adams has to settle for just getting it over. Maxwell the set. Hutchins the swing. Dug out by South Adams. Freiberger. Hutchins into the back row. Another miscommunication. Yep. Now watch it drop, and it's a couple of straight points for Shawnee. Burris, another serve. Troush, the set. Looking for Bolenbacher into the corner. Dug out by Freiberger. Hutchins, top spin. Quick set, wide. You know, it's illegal to wear jewelry below your neck. Oh, we did a timeout. We'll finish that thought when we come back. 12 8 to score. We'll step aside. Shawnee with a little bit of a run here in set number two on WOSN. Today's scoreboard. Brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Mark, before we went to break, you were talking about not, not well, jewelry below the neck. I, I'd like to see some players like Freiberger or the setter on some teams be allowed to wear a Fitbit to see how far they run <laughs> during the course of a, of a match. Uh, typically, it's a, it's a setter has to cover so much ground or a libero, and they're all over the place. And it would just be curious to see how far they actually go as Shawnee scores coming out of the timeout. 13-8. The advantage for the Indians. Freiberger dives, keeps it alive. Cut on from the middle. Starfire's back set for Troush. Kept alive by the Indians. Hutchins right at the 10-foot line, poked in the air. Freeze rolls it over. Great volley from both sides. And now we get a whistle. Double contact. Ball has to hit both hands at the same time and be released at the same time. And obviously you don't want to prolong contact it in there because then you get that call, but that was a double contact. Troush, quick set, long swing from Bixler. And she contacted the ball below the height of the net. The set wasn't where she wanted it to be and ended up hitting the ball long. So not the response out of the yeah. timeout that the Starfires wanted. Troush, Bollenbacher. Die from Freiberger, and we. Looks like we had uh, Rudisil on the net. The signal was 14. It's going to be a point anyway. In fact, oh, I was going to get a kill. No, you don't get a kill because <laughs> we have a violation <laughs> on the other no. team. So. Got the whistle. 
Shea Alberson serving for South Adams. 15-9. Set in the middle. Caught on by Brickner. Dug out by the Starfires. Freiberger keeps that one alive. Hutchins, the swing. Preece behind a 10-foot line. Freiberger passed to the middle of the floor. Another swing, another good volley. Dumped into the back row. Freiberger's there. Hutchins, the cut, kept alive by the Starfires. Bolenbacher tries to send it to the other side of the floor. Good point. Quick set into the middle. Freiberger keeps it alive. Tough spot. And the ball falls to the floor. The point to South Adams. Reagan Beitler found the middle of the floor. Instead of setting the bat ball, she took hit number two and just pushed it across to the middle of the floor. Helped her team get a point. Hutchins a swing. Dug out. Preece. Got it in the line. Had that top spin on it and just pulled it straight to the floor. She's had three kills in each set now for a total of six. South Adams putting together a little run here. Blocked at the net. Freeze, unfortunately, puts it right back into the net. Uh, I've Saw got the big frustration yeah, there. She that, thought, I got a chance to, to get one on the first hit here, first contact, and, and she was upset with herself because she didn't do with it what she wanted to. Hutchins to serve. Quick set, blocked. Freeze tries to push it in the back corner. Maxwell do the same. Sent over by Avery Brown. Hutchins from well behind the 10-foot line. Dug out by the Starfires. Troush tips it over with one hand. Kept alive. Long swing from Rudisil. Tried to take a little off of it to Dragon Bolenbacher, and it came back to bite her. Tried to roll it across and didn't get a really good contact with it. So 17-11 here in set number two. Shawnee with already one in her bag. Looking to advance to the championship game to play Parkway as Hutchins sends a sidewinder. Back set to Bollenbacher. Kept alive, tipped over by Maxwell. Blocked at the net. Mackenzie Brickner, the senior for Shawnee, the point. I don't think Brown got the set she wanted that time. Couldn't do much with it. Got it blocked back at her. Tipped over. Hutchins in a tough spot. Got it over. Blocked at the net. Tried to pancake it. Couldn't get there in time. A great effort by Maggie Jordan. Mandy Troush, second kill for her tonight. South Adams kind of hanging a little bit. Just hanging around. They need to make a, a run here. Mullenbacher serve. Received by Hutchins. Tipped over. Kept alive by the Starfires. Prees. Double contact. Get that double contact. Yeah. Coach is telling her, you got to kind of shuffle yeah. your feet over there to get where you want to be rather well, than. It's, it's somebody who doesn't typically be a ball handler. You know, she's you're typically a hitter. She's not the one who does that, that particular set situation right there. A little long on the swing from Preece. Makes it 20-12. Shawnee has grown the lead. Close it out. Go get a snack and get ready for the finals. <laughs> Watch the third place match. Troush. The set. Cooper back in the middle. Kept it alive. <laughs> Got an unconventional kill. 21-12. A few years ago, look at these two teams in black uniforms. I officiated one of those uh, Volley for the Cure matches. Both teams oh, both wore teams pink, pink. pink. And both coaches were tall men with shaved heads. <laughs> and I had no idea who was who the whole night. <laughs> Freiberger, the ace. Her third of the night. Hits the top of the net, rolls over anyway. Troush looking for Preece. 
wide. Makes it 23-12. Shawnee two points away from a spot in a championship. Into the back row, off the net. Can the Starfires get it? No. They're in the net. Yeah. And that'll be match point coming up, 24-12. Shawnee, one set, one, 25-15. As Freiberger serves. Off the top of the net once more. Troush, tipped over by Bollenbacher, dug out by Hutchins, set to Cooper. Can't tip it over. She wanted the lead, same as recipe chicken spike. Instead, it's four contacts, and the point goes to South Adams. Laney Troush will serve. Maxwell, the set to Cooper, blocked, kept alive by Freiberger. Russo will get a touch at it on the floor. And Shawnee will win at set number two, 25 to 13. Shawnee had 22 kills. 11 of them came from Kelly Cooper. They had four aces in the match today. Grace Freiberger had three of those. Macy Prees had six kills out of a, not very many, just, uh, let's see, 12 kills total uh, in the match for uh, the South Adams Starfires. They had two aces. Those were both by Reagan Bolenbacher in the opening set. So we'll step aside, come back with championship action. Shawnee and Parkway will tango for the top spot at the Parkway Invitational when we return here on WOSN. Welcome back to the Parkway Invitational where the championship match is about to get underway between the Parkway Panthers and the Shawnee Indians. I'm Garrett Seawright alongside Mark Shine once again for all the action here. And we got a 4-0 Parkway Panther squad and a 4-1 Shawnee Indian squad. Both won their semifinals and straight sets to get here. And looking forward to a pretty good championship match. Uh, Parkway, they defeated Paulding in their opening match and then Ottoville in match number two. They do come in undefeated. Shawnee has defeated Pandora Gilboa and South Adams, and uh, they have come in with just a single loss. That was to Coldwater on Thursday night, a match that they actually won the first two sets and were ahead in set three, and Coldwater came back uh, to, to win it in, in five sets. But uh, that's their only loss on the season. This should be a very good match. Both teams have good setters, good hitters, and both teams are blessed with a good libero, so this, this should be a good match. South Adams won the third place match here between the semifinals and the final, so they'll take home third place. As these two all blackout uniform <laughs> squads, well, Parkway on the left, Shawnee on the right. If you are a fan of good libero play, each of them wearing white jerseys for their teams today, and I am a fan of good libero play, and we've got two good ones here. Emory Temple wears number six for Parkway in the white jersey, and Gracie Freiberg will serve for Shawnee, and she is their libero wearing number one. She will serve things off. Steve Trout, Dan Cook, our officials today, two of the really good ones in Northwest Ohio. We're underway here in the championship match. Let's bring Shane Love in the back set. And the first kill of the match on the least famous recipe, Chicken Spike, goes to Britton Brunt. She had seven kills in the semifinal match a few moments ago over Ottoville. And she'll send it away. First serve for the Panthers. As Leah Rudisil tries to send one over for Shawnee, and then a tip drops to the floor for the Panthers. See Paige Stevenson, everybody's thinking, you know, here comes the big hit, your opening shot you know, here in the match, and she just kind of softly rolls one across for a point. It's a 2-0 Panther lead on the Wabash Mutual telephone scoreboard. Great serve into the back row. And a swing and a kill for Kelly Cooper for the first point for Shawnee. Of course, Kelly was dominant in their semifinal win over South Adams with 11 kills in the two-set match. Leah Rudisil serves for Shawnee. Nice. Just a hesitation and miscommunication by the Panthers. Knots things up at two. Both of these teams sat a while. Parkway sat a little bit longer because they played the first of the semifinal matches. Then we had that 
third and fourth place match just a moment ago, so both teams have been seated, sitting for a while. Langenkamp the tip over. Cammie Langenkamp. Long swing into the back row. Panthers able to handle it, get it over. Dumped it to the back corner. Dug out by Freiberger. Tipped over, just barely over the net. Perfect placement by Sidney Burris. Into the back row by the Panthers. Cooper, the set in the middle, drops to the floor. And Kelly Cooper's got another kill. Paige Stevenson did a really nice job of avoiding going over the center line when she played the ball just a moment ago and not making contact with the net. Cooper gets the point. Another serve by Rudisil. Runs from behind the 10-foot line. Cooper able to turn the corner. Get her hand on it, and another Lee's famous recipe chicken spike for the senior. We talked about she had 11 kills in their semifinal, and she had eight of those in the opening set, and she likes to set the tempo, and they like to find her early in a match, and so far that's what they're doing. Four straight points for the Indians. Make it five. Colby Smith left that one short and in the tape. Rudisil will continue to serve. Down that far sideline. Bruns dumps it over. Maxwell, the set to Cooper. And the Panthers aren't able to get it back over. Another kill for Kelly Cooper. Paige uh, Stevens, excuse me, Emery Temple is a good libero, but just too much power on that one for her to handle. Cooper already with four kills out of their five points. Tough spot yep. on the pass. And had to try yeah. to cut it across the net and couldn't do it. Timeout. So after seven straight points for the Indians, Sparkway will take a timeout. We'll step aside as well here on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Parkway got out to a 2-0 run. And then Shawnee put seven straight on the board, so the Panthers take a timeout to talk about it. Try to set up Legging Camp. Got a big swing, but it's kept alive by the Indians. And it's sent just wide by Sidney Burris. It was a good play just to keep the ball in bounds and keep it an opportunity to score, but Burris just hit it a little bit long trying to go to the far side. Breaks that seven-point run. Six of those points were by Rudisil. Cooper the swing, dug out that time by Bruns. Panthers center it up. Stevenson will roll it into the back row. I'll try to set up Cooper again. A big swing, but she drops it to the floor. And Elise's famous recipe, Chicken Spike, makes it 8-3 for Shawnee. Good height, good power. She's seeing the ball almost straight down, just past the 10-foot line. Indian serving once more. Lollipop to the middle of the floor. Emery Temple has to chase it. Gets it, runs from behind the 10-foot line. Mistimed it. And it's a 9-3 lead for the Indians. Parkway not as sharp as they were in their semifinal with Ottoville just yet. See if they get it going here. Shane Levin, the set. Smith will tip it over. Maxwell, back set. And it drops in for Sidney Burris. Oh, and he's running on all cylinders right now. Absolutely, with a 10-3 lead after trailing 2-0 to open the set. Set number one of this championship match. There's a swing and down for Paige Stevenson to kind of break the momentum for Barkway. Hit it through the two blockers. <laughs> Stevenson, after the kill, will drop back to serve. Into the back row. Cooper had a little bit of run up to it. Panthers, can they get it over? No. I think Britland Bruns didn't realize the pace of the ball, and it was going much slower than she thought it was. She dove and tried to make a play and keep it alive, but uh, not enough for a teammate to get it across. It's 11-4. Kelly Cooper serves into the net for the point for the Panthers. Second time we've seen her here in the semifinals and finals. Just let that ball get a little low to her on the serve. And now Colby Smith will send it away, and that one a little long. We alternate service errors. 
Burris now drops back to serve, the junior. This will be the park time for Parkway to score some points. And they'll get one there. Cooper's on the bench as the rotation put her in the back row. See where Shawnee's points come from with Kelly Cooper on the sideline. Sophomore Emory Temple serves for Parkway. Maxwell is set to Hutchins. Left and wide. So Parkway has shrunk the lead to five. Open to continue. Closing the gap. Temple, a nice serve into the back row. Hutchins dug out by the Panthers. Put right back down to the floor at the net by Leah Rudisill. Good job for her. She waited until the ball got in the plane of the net before she played it. You cannot reach over until it's the third contact to make a play. Hutchins the serve. Shane Lemon takes the swing. Lefty for Parkway. Sent over. Freiburger's libero, and she cannot contact the ball above the height of the net and send it across, and that's what she did right there. So it's an illegal back row attack. <laughs> Gives the Panthers the point. Trailing by five now. It's, they'll, Shawnee tips it over. Shane Levin, cross court pass to Bruns. Climbed the ladder and got the kill. I chuckled a little bit, Garrett. I was officiating a few years ago, and I got a libero for an illegal back row attack like what we just had with Freiburger. And her mom came up to me after the match and thanked me because they didn't think she could jump high enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hutchins the swing. Good swing. And she gets the kill. Yeah, you know the old, it's not the compliment you want to receive, but you know what? Hey, hey. Could, she could jump high enough to get above the net. We didn't know that, so thank you. Look at that. 14 to There's 9. Freiburger to serve. We've been in one rotation already now for them. Popped up in the air by Temple. Back set, looking for Bruns. Left it wide. Trying to cut it from one side to the other. Couldn't get it in the line. 15-9. Freiburger will send it away again into the back row. Tough handle by the Panthers. They can't. Track it down and an ace for the Libero. She had five aces in their semifinal win. That's her first one now. We're going to get another timeout. We'll step aside as well. 16 9. Shawnee the lead over Parkway here on WOSN. Sixteen nine. the score out of the timeout. Panthers trying to scratch and claw their way back into set number one. See if they can put. I'll together a little run here is the swing from Paige Stevenson a little long. Two blockers were there, including Cooper. She tried to hit it through him, just got it too high. And couldn't curl it down into the back line. Freiburgers put together a couple of points yes. here for the Indians and puts another one on the board. Two aces for her just on this service rotation. They've got them doubled up now at 18-9. The Wamash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Freiburger again to serve. In a tough spot to handle. Panthers able to get it over. Britton Bruns put it in the back corner. Blocked at the net off to the swing by Rudisil, but it hits the floor for the point. Make it 19-9. Boy, good luck trying to find Wood with Freiburger back there. The best liberos around. Leaping, diving, does whatever it takes to keep the ball off the floor. Knuckleball serve. Cooper takes a hardy cut at it, but dug out by the Panthers. Bruns, the tip, took a little off of it, and it'll drop to the wood. Yeah, she saw the two big blockers there. She thought she could just tip it over them and got away with it. Now she'll drop back to serve. Rudisil tried to take some off of it, didn't get enough of it, and the point goes to the Panthers. She had an opening. Take the ball to her left down the net, and she just didn't get it where she wanted, a little perturbed with herself. Cooper, the swing. Got it at the net, did the Panthers. Freiberger will set her up again. She'll take a swing at it, and a hardy Lee's famous recipe chicken swing and spike for Kelly Cooper. Yeah, and a good set by Libero Freiberger. Use that underhand motion to pop it up in the air for Cooper to get the hit. 
Got the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Spike. Uh, Mark, you'll be glad to know I sent a message to my wife that said, Darling, I can't read any more of these Lee's Famous Recipe <laughs> yeah. Chicken, so we're going to make the trek to St. Mary's for dinner. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. I keep thinking about that. That's why I went out to the, cons to the uh, media room, grabbed something to eat. I couldn't be not as good as Lee's Chicken, but at least it'll fill the bill for a little while. Cooper, the swing, out. another big cut by the senior. Seventh kill in the opening set for her, point twenty-one. If you don't have a pair of blockers coming to try to cut her off, she's got a lot of power behind that swing. Parkway tries to regroup. Re regroup. Langenkamp tips it over. Hutchins the swing. Bruns the pass. Rolled over by the Panthers. Maxwell, the set to Hutchins at the tape, and it drops to the floor. And another kill for Shawnee in her, here in the opening set. At 12 kills out of their 22 points, tack on three aces. Just as we saw in the opening uh, in their semifinal, their power game is good. Well, then leave that one. Just a bit short by Maxwell, who's a really good setter. Trying to just tuck it over that line. Tuck it over the net, couldn't do it. Now Parkway will serve. Stevenson to serve. Maxwell blocked at the net. Didn't get it over the net. Yeah, didn't get it over the. Ended up being a four hit call. Got into the tape and came back to an Indian. Stevenson serves again. Hutchins with the kill. Making Mama happy. Freiberger comes out of the game in exchange for Mackenzie Brickner. As Kelly Cooper drops back to serve. She'll be out just as long as Cooper serves and come back into her libero spot for Cooper. Cooper put it deep into the back row. Tipped over by the Panthers. Kept alive. Back set from Maxwell. Chopped on by Burris. Yeah. Somebody under the net. Yeah, got a foot all the way across the center line. I didn't catch the number from the official, but one of her feet went all the way across the center line. It can be on the center line, but not over it. 23-15 the score. Maxwell, Hutchins a swing. Bruns kept it alive, and it goes off the Indians and down after the block at the net by Naomi Kanapke. Panthers inching back just a hair. Yeah, they'd like to put a flurry together just to set things up for set two. Maxwell. Swing by Brickner. Dug out by the Panthers. Bruns will take a cut at it. Freiberger keeps it off the floor, but Kanapke sends it right back to the wood. Well, Freiberger did everything she could to get to the ball. She just wasn't able to control it to where her teammates could use it. Instead, it popped over the net. Really good effort just to get the ball and keep it in play. Stinger straight over the top of the net. Tough spot at the net. And we got our Indian in the net. Parkway shrunk the lead to five at 23-18. Maxwell's the one that caught in the net that time. Colby Smith sends it away. Popped up in the air. Maxwell chases it down. Freiberger behind the 10-foot line. Sent it over. Bruns popped up by Freiberger. Indians have to chase it. Rolled over, kept in play. Stevenson, Kanapke tips, kept alive by the Indians. Hutchins from the far side, left it long, and Parkways closed yeah. the gap to four. This time it's Parkways turn to force a timeout. Shawnee takes it, we'll keep it here. It's the Indians lead by four, but they've seen that gap shrink. Parkway took their time out at 16-9. Now it's 23-19. So whatever Jordan Hinkle said to his squad during that timeout certainly worked. You know, Garrett, uh, I hope that uh, anybody watching our uh, initial telecast uh, on Sunday night, this is a goal that WSN has this year, and that's to provide high-class volleyball every Sunday night at 7 p.m. So... Uh, finding a, a match or a tournament like this one on Saturdays and then putting it for you on Sunday night, that's a goal we'll have this year on WOSN every Sunday at 7 p.m. And we've got high-quality volleyball oh, all boy. throughout the area. Yes, we do. 
whether it be WBL, MAC, NWC, no matter the conference. You've been watching the NFL from 1 o'clock to about 7 o'clock, a little tired before the Sunday night game comes <laughs> on. Turn it over and catch WSN Volleyball. 23-19, Panthers put together a little run. Shawnee tries to close out set number one. Indians 4-1, and one. Panthers 4-0. and oh. It's a serve by Parkway. Returned by Shawnee, put in a tough spot. Maxwell, the set, swing, out. Mackenzie Brickner pushed it wide. Now it's 23-20. See, a lot of this run has come with Kelly Cooper on the bench. When she is out, Shawnee needs to find a more consistent second to option to go to. Maxwell tries to set up Hutchins in the middle. That would have been a good option right there. Shane Levin cuts it to the far corner. Hutchins again blocked at the net and a double contact. A four, four, hits, say four. Yeah, four hits. Ball got into tape before Parkway Panther touched it. So the next Indian to touch it became four hits. Panthers on a run. Colby Smith just long. And that'll give match for set point, I beg your pardon. Just first set. Set point to Shawnee. Send it into the back row. Stevenson. Britton Bruns finds the floor. Hello, her fourth kill. Lee's famous recipe chicken spike. Gets the lead back to two for Shawnee as Emery Temple set to serve. Hutchins to receive. Maxwell tries to set her up. Blocked. Kept alive by the Indians. Freiberger, the pass, rolled over. Bruns, the tip, kept alive. Hutchins blocked. Bruns the dig. Tipped over, tried to find a floor, couldn't. Here on set point, and the Indians get the set with the kill and take game one at 25-22. We'll step aside, come back with second set action here in the championship of the Parkway Invite on WOSN. Spikes today brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Parkway had eight kills in the opening set, four by Britlin Bruns. Shawnee had 12 kills, seven by Kelly Cooper, four by Carly Hutchins. They had four aces, two apiece from Grace Freiberger and Leah Rudisell. Let's see, uh, Garrett, if that flurry that got Parkway back in that match after trailing for the majority of it and actually got the set back to relatively close. Let's see if that uh, gives them a good spark here as they're going to serve first here in set number two. Yeah, it got off to a 2 nothing run to start the set, and then 7-2 was the score after, the first, after Shawnee put seven straight. They grew it and grew it and grew it, and then Parkway, as you mentioned, got a flurry all the way back. Let's get a... Not sure. One of the officials talking to a, someone in the, in the stand here a little bit. It wasn't an angry type thing. or Yeah, it wasn't a threat to be removed or anything yeah, just, like that. Just, just a, looked like a point of information. Not sure what it was all about. But anyway, we've got the lineup set. and We'll get Liberos on the floor. Yep. As Carly Hutchins. Speak to Steve Trout, the latter official. Well, as a captain, it's one of your responsibilities. Let the uh, R1 know that your team is ready to play. So the Panthers will serve with Bryn Shane Levin. Set to send it away. But you're right, Parkway put together a little run there at the end of set number one to close the gap. Couldn't finish it off. Shawnee with a game in hand as Hutchins sends one to the back row. Bruns from the outside, dug out by Freiberger. Rudisil blocked at the net, kept alive by the Indians. She'll send one over to the back row. Dumped over. Freiberger kept it alive. That one off the Panthers, off the wall, and the first point goes to Shawnee. Eaton. 
So Freiberger will serve to start things off for the red and black. It was Massey Jordan's first points of the day. Mistimed it did Candy mm -hmm. Langenkamp. She went to climb the ladder and that she did. Just didn't get it perfectly. And then the Indians send one into the net. Give Parkway their first point of set number two. Semifinals, both games. Straight set victories for Parkway and Shawnee over Ottaville and South Adams, respectively. As Kelly Cooper takes his swing. And her first least famous recipe chicken spike of the second set. Picked up right where she left off in set number one. It's very difficult to try and stop that. Britton Bruns from well behind its end foot line gets it across. Quick set to Cooper, popped up by the Panthers. Pushed over, Cooper receives, and then oh, really a great play. play by Maxwell to just dump it into the campfire. Well, everybody expects her to, to set Cooper, and she just finds that hole in the middle of the floor, and it was low enough across the net. Didn't get a Parkway defense time to react. Colby Smith blocked to the net, kept alive by the Indians. Notice how Freiberger stays on the floor so she doesn't get called for that back row <laughs> contact. Point to Parkway. 4-2 now on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Proud sponsor of Mercer County Athletics. Serve from Langenkamp. Cooper blocked it to net. Rolled over, received by Bruns. Langenkamp tips it over. Kanafke, I beg your pardon. Cooper, the hardy cutting down. Thought Parkway made a good play to save the ball to net and yet not go across the, the center line or into the net, but too much power from Cooper. That championship trophy sitting right to the scorer's table. Yes, sir. Allie Maxwell sends it away for the Indians. Shawnee in the net. Yeah. Kind of unfortunate uh, Colby Smith did not get a good run at the ball. I had to try to play it left-handed, but had an Indian in the net. Sent away by Stevenson. Popped up in the air by the Indians. A swing by Burris hits the floor. Her second kill today. One in each set. And now Kelly Cooper will serve. That'll bring Freiberger back in the game. Six to four on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard is Colby Smith serving. She's got it just over the top of the tape. Brickner. Sent it over. Bruns dug out by Freiberger. Tipped over and out. Mackenzie Brickner tried to take a little off of it. Still pushed it wide. Parker had a chance to even it up. Hasn't been that well able to do so. It's just the top of the net. Yep. Sometimes it. You get the lucky bounce and it rolls over and sometimes it comes right back to you. Supposed to be a home net, let that roll yeah. over. <laughs> get a little home cooking. Kanapke, big swing. Freiberger there. Hutchins takes one of her own. Bruns just bumps it over. Maxwell, back set. Cut on by Rudisil for the kill. Last time they struggled a little bit at the end of the set when Cooper was on the bench, not this time. 8-5 to score. Bruns takes a run up to it, but put too much mustard on it. Long. This is the sixth set both these teams have played here today. Long afternoon. Especially early in the season. Bruns trying to get a tip. 
frustrated with herself. She wanted to go cross court. We're going to get a timeout. 10-5 the score. Shawnee leads Parkway here in set number two on WOSM. Second set action here in the championship of the Parkway Invitational. Shawnee with a 10-5 lead over the Panthers. And an ace for Shawnee as Burris drops it just over the line. First ace in this set after four in set number one for the Indians. Good serve. Stevenson cross-court pass to Bruns. Get an Indian in the net. Number 14, Rudisil was the call. So 11-6 the score on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. See if Parkway has another run in them like they did in the, in the first set. They had a good run towards the end of the set. See if they can get some momentum going in this one. Trying to put it together while Kelly Cooper's not on the floor for Shawnee as it's tipped at the net. Stevenson, Bruns, finesses it over. Freiberger stays on the floor to send it. Bruns cuts it wide. And I'm sure that that's yeah. a, it's a tough thing for, for an athlete to, to remind, okay, you got, got to not be athletic. Don't, can't run, can't jump, got to stay on the floor. It's, I'm sure it's just one of those things that's tough to train. It's a discipline thing. Because once you get called once for it, they're going to be looking for you. Yep. That go off a of hand? I think so. Nope, nope they'll say not. Out of bounds. Thought it got a fingertip. Might have got the top of the net. We did hit the net. I wasn't sure whether it got into one of the Indians' hands or not. Did not. None of the four officials had the call, and nobody complained about it, so it did not. Back set. Looking for Langenkamp. Just wide again. So the lead grows to eight for the Indians. I get the feeling that Cammie Langenkamp is just a bit off. She seems to be jumping just a bit early today. Something that she'll get straightened out with some practice time. Just a timing thing. And Langenkamp, just a freshman, so yep. playing her first couple of varsity games. Swing. Good hit. Brings Shem Shane Levin. Gets a Lee's famous recipe chicken spike. Got all of that one. She will go back to serve. Now, she had three aces in the match that they played against Ottoville. This would be a good time to pick up a couple. Trailing by seven here in set number two. Indians have one in hand. Shane Levin into the back row. Maxwell, the set. Rudisil miss hits, and a point goes to the Panthers. Sent away deep into the back row. Indians forced to handle it. Hutchins behind a 10-foot line. The re receive goes back over to Shawnee. Britton Bruns. Maxwell tries to dump it. Panthers are there. Yeah, good reaction. Stevenson into the back corner. Freiberger chases. Maxwell the set. Hutchins the cut. No, but puts it in a tough spot to handle. And the Indians get the point. Look, Garrett, I, am, I told you I'm a fan of a good libero play. Mm -hmm. and anybody who can play well defensively in the back row. I'm wondering continually why they don't have more back issues. They twist oh, and <laughs> contort in the way they have to, to motion themselves around. And when they hit the floor, it's yes. never nice. It's never clean as a swing from Stevenson. Right. will drop to the floor for a kill. Stevenson's first kill in this set after a couple kills in the opening set. Fifteen nine, Bruns sends it away. Just a bit too long. Experience of Freiberger to not play that, knowing that it's going out when it's even that close. Yes. And there's so much to. I don't. It's tough to see on TV, but you have to read the speed of the ball, the rotation of the ball, the depth of the ball. Hopefully, you get some help from your teammates too. That's kind of what kind of expect those young ladies on the bench to help you out on some of those. Tough by Stevenson, dug out. Cooper, the tip, didn't get it over the net, though. 
just a little bit more on and it might be in the perfect spot. I, I thought she had done that just exactly right. And as you say, she just left it a, a hair short, but that was really well played on her part. Perfect idea. Just a 1% more touch on it and it drops as the service error runs the score to 17-10. Emory Temple, the libero then, pops into the game. And the incentive to the back row. Smith blocked, but it drops on the Shawnee side. Good hit by Colby Smith. Stevenson to serve. Hutchins is Good swing. Hit. Oh, she missed. Pushed it wide. Well, I. Th I when she first hit, I thought, well, that's in a great spot right. in the corner. Now, she, the call by the official was correct, but when she first hit, I thought that was really nice. She's got a lot of the volleyball. Yeah. Perfectly timed as Stevenson sends it to the back row. Cooper gets the set. Popped up in the air by the Panthers. Able to return. Free ball it over. Let's see what happens here. Hutchins tries to cut it to the far corner. Can't. Smith the swing. Popped oh, up by play. Freiberger. How about that? Great effort just to get it back up in the air. But the point. Really good hit by Colby Smith. Freiberger just got all of her body to get to the ball and wasn't able to keep it in play, but really good effort on her part. Again, great read by Freiberger to watch it go mm -hmm. long. She'll be out for one service rotation by Cooper, and then she'll come back and play her back row again. Cooper into the middle of the back row. Hit the antenna. Oh, same. I'd have got the candy yep. cane. 19-13 here in set number two is Shawnee. Looking to close out the set and grab the championship here at the Parkway Invite. Cooper just got it over the top of the net. Stevenson in a difficult yes, position. Absolutely, Garrett. The, the pass was long. She's not allowed to hit it over from her position on the floor, so she had to try to play it and just couldn't time out again. 2013, the score will step aside as well. Shawnee with the lead here on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Shawnee with the 2013 advantage here at set number two. Parkway and Coach Hinkle have burned both timeouts trying to stop the Indians today. This yep. is when they made a run last set. Kelly Cooper the serve. Panthers spike it over. Hutchins bumps it up over her head and over. Quick set to Kanapke in the middle and she'll get a skill. Ali's famous recipe chicken spike cuts the lead to six out of the timeout. Colby Smith serving. Tickles the top of the net. Hutchins a swing and a kill. Sixth kill for her in this match today. She had three in the opening set, uh, opening match today with South Adams. Opening match that we covered anyway. Carly Hutchins just a sophomore. Yeah, really nice player. Yeah, playing well here in the early going. Shawnee 4-1, Parkway 4-0. Coming into this match as Britton Bruns climbs the ladder. Blocked at the net. Kept alive by the Indians. Hutchins takes a hardy cut. Blocked at the net once more. Back set. Cut. Dug out by the Panthers. Shane Levin the swing. Got it just inside the line. Good hit by her off a good set. Has some top spin on it. So the ball dove on the back line. Temple serving for the Panthers. Trailing by six. Hutchins the swing. Panthers got a piece of it. It finds the floor to make a 22-15. Carly gets to serve. Leading by seven, the sophomore sends it away. Stevenson, cross-court pass to Bruns. Yeah. 
Officials Tip. looking for a call. <laughs> Yeah. Tipped and down. It was, it's the correct call. He was waiting for the official, the line judge, to make the call, and that's why we had a, a bit of a delay. Tipped over. Get too far into the net. Oh, yeah. we got the Panthers in the net. Bertland Bruns was in the net that time. Shawnee, two points away from collecting that trophy sitting at the scorer's table. 23-16 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone Scoreboard. Proud sponsor of Mercer County Athletics is Temple. Sends it over, gives it over. It's returned by the Indians. Temple gets it into the back corner. Keep it alive, Molly, or Kelly Cooper, I beg your pardon. Just wide. It's going to be a good play, but it hit the tape, and that changed the angle of its descent and knocked it out of bounds. 23-17, it's Britton Bruns. Gets it in the middle of the back row. Cooper, long. Notice she had to change her approach steps that time, and that caused that ball to go long. Misjudged where the set was coming. Maxwell. Back sent to Hutchins. I beg your pardon. Addy Kriegel it drops anyway. And now match point at 24-18 for the Indians. Yeah, Kelly Cooper's the 10th kill in this match today. And we are at set point match point. With Rudisil to serve. From that far corner into the back row. Bruns from behind the 10-foot line. Drops it in the middle. Cooper, the swing, down, and Shawnee takes set number two, 25-18, to close out the two-set victory and take the championship here at the Parkway Invitational. 24 kills today in this two-set match. 11 of them came from Kelly Cooper. Also for Shawnee, they had five aces, two from Grace Freiberger, two from Leah Rudisil. On the other side, four kills from Britlin Bruns. Uh, they had a total of, let me see here really quick, 14, 16 kills in the match, but very evenly spread out. Bruns had four to lead them, and surprisingly, or maybe perhaps a tribute to the Shawnee defense, not a single ace for Parkway in this final match. Wow. So the Indians take first place at the Parkway invite. They win 25-18, 25-13, or 25-22, I beg your pardon. 25-18, 25-22 in the two set victories, they got wins. Shawnee is going to be a factor in Absolutely. the Western Buckeye League race. And I, I'm going to guess as good as the, the MAC is, Parkway is going to be right there in the MAC race as well. WBL for Shawnee, MAC for, for uh, Parkway. We're going to see both of these teams a lot and have very successful seasons. Shawnee got wins over Pandora, Gilboa, South Adams, and Parkway to grab the victory today. Parkway got a win over Paulding, Ottoville before falling to Shawnee and Saint South Adams takes home a third place match here at the Parkway Invitational. So that'll do it from us here at Parkway. Shawnee, the champions of this Invitational. For our fantastic WOSN crew, Mark Schott and Garrett Seawright saying so long, and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN. <laughs>